Welcome back to I Live Smart. In this video, we'll be taking your existing video doorbell or smart camera that's Alexa enabled, and we'll be using it to automatically turn on either our TV or a smaller screen like an Echo Show and automatically show us that video footage. Check it out. Timestamps are provided because you guys are awesome. Now, feel free to jump around, but I'd really like if you sat through the whole video because I spent a lot of time on this. Just to give you an idea of how much time it'll take to actually get to your camera footage once motion is detected, it takes about eight seconds in my case, and it may be different for you. Motion detected at the ring doorbell. Okay. Someone is at the ring doorbell. Couple of prerequisites, you will need some type of smart camera. This camera needs to be Alexa enabled for the setup. You'll also need some type of Alexa enabled screen. So I'll show you guys at first with the Echo Show. And I recommend going out and getting one of these because I've seen them on sale. You can get one under 70 bucks and this can be the screen. The bonus at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can make it work with a fire stick or cube. It can actually turn your TV on when it's off. We interrupt the regularly scheduled program to bring you a short, dramatic story. Thank you. Yo, time for a little story. Dramatic story. No one's gonna believe me when I tell them. Got the footage. I precursor, but this is the story of the time I lost my pit vipers in the Estero River. And to fully set the scene, I'm gonna give us some river lighting so you can feel the vibes. But nonetheless, we went out kayaking a group of friends and coworkers all was well for some time nothing out of the blue we set out from the dock we're hanging out or eating sandwiches or doing all those kayak activities you know docked under a tree just hanging out for a bit one of the kayaks flips um in the middle of the river and i, I try to hit a u-turn and try to help them back up because it's possible to flip a kayak over it's not the easiest to do but it's possible and you can very easily flip your own kayak doing that. And that is exactly what happened. <laughs> Picture this, now two kayaks upside down in Estero River, four people in the water. C considering the circumstances, a lot was going on. And my pit vipers that I love so much, I had the Leonardo's, they look like this. Um, they fell out of the boat and so pit viper, please, if you see this, I miss my Leonardo's. I went through three pairs now, but they're the best sunglasses ever. If you guys want to hook up a pair for Christmas or my early birthday in June, email me. You may now return to the regularly scheduled program. Months ago, I wanted to set up something similar. So there's motion on a camera and then it pops up on a TV. But I found at that time it was impossible due to a couple limitations here and there. But I noticed Amazon added a new special feature in the app and that allows me to create some more complex routines. So I'm gonna show that to you guys here today. For setup, we'll start in the Alexa app. We'll jump over to routines, create a new one here. When this happens, we wanna select our actual camera. Now, depending on your camera, you'll have different capabilities. You should have at least motion. We'll check when motion is detected. Then for your action, you only need this one action, but I'll show you a couple cool actions you could add. Down here at the bottom, custom. This is where you're going to type the command you want Alexa to actually perform. So this is where you're gonna tell it to open the camera feed. So my command is open or show me backyard. Now your command should be something similar, show me plus either the room name, the device name, or the skill name of the camera. So something like show me ring, show me wise, show me blink, it will open the footage. So once you know this, you can go ahead and type it in. Now optionally, you can add a response from Alexa. So you may want Alexa to give you some type of confirmation have her say something specific. Once you have the action situated on the from section, this is where you have to decide the display that you want the camera footage to pull up on. So this is either your show 
or your Fire TV. And from there, we'll just give our routine a name. Then we'll save the routine and we are good to go. Now for the bonus, because you stuck around, I'll show you how I make this work on my living room TV. Amazon Fire Stick is plugged in to my arc accessible plug. So if I were to pull this out here, you should see an arc label close to the HDMI label. And you wanna make sure you use this one because it will allow your Fire Stick to actually turn your TV on and off. Now, as far as the setup goes, it's going to be similar to the way we set it up for the Echo Show. So you can jump back to the Alexa setup section of the video to see that. But in the routine um, from that from section, just make sure you point to your TV. And then also, I recommend doing this because I ran into this issue. You'll want to suppress this routine so it only runs after the given duration. So I would say something like at least 30 minutes. If you know, find yourself in and out the house while you're watching TV, you're not constantly bombarded by that channel changing. You can also skip days here. So for example, if you only want this to work on the weekdays, you can uh, check off the weekends like that. And those are the differences. And if you're new to I Live Smart, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, click the bell for updated notifications when new great videos like this come out. And also, if you would leave a like and a comment, that would be appreciated. If you want to get started on this project for under $100, check out this bundle here, which will be down in the video's description. I feel like I've seen it bundled under $100 at least three times in the last month, so it's a great way to get started. Thank you guys and continue to live smart.